thank you for this opportunity generally we tend to sit on the other side and ask questions but uh, this is a uh, unique opportunity that uh, we sit uh, here and uh, answer your questions anyway uh, thank you thank you for inviting uh, me to this uh, show and uh, uh, giving me the opportunity to share some experience uh, what i have uh, in this uh, media uh, segment uh, when coming to my goal in fact i was inspired by two of my uncles who were leaders in a certain organization and uh, that was i think around my uh, age of around 10 years uh, i was sitting and watching them taking leadership uh, um, getting into uh, dramas getting getting involved with a uh, lot of youth so i wanted to be a leader uh, at that time it was not clear what kind of leader but it, i wanted to be a leader and uh, i wanted to be on uh, uh, forefront on focus uh, that was my childhood goal so there are uh, people uh, dream to be a doctor engineer i never had that uh, uh, clear picture whether i want to be a doctor engineer or a, or a media professional my goal was to be a leader i wanted to uh, lead people that, that that was my goal in my childhood so what happened is from the beginning since uh, i was a, a single son i mean uh, i'm 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 uh, only son in my uh, child in my family and uh, uh, my father passed away at a crucial point i was just completing my second pu and uh, my father passed away uh, everything came to a standstill we didn't know what to do uh, how to go about because that was uh, i was not even uh, serious about how to uh, run a family at that point of time then we had to uh, start from scratch we moved to a, a different place we uh, came out from that leisure life what we had uh, we had to start uh, everything from beginning we built a house then uh, uh luckily i had a set of uh, good friend circle around me they supported me they stood with me and they encouraged me to uh, achieve my goals over a period uh, i had to uh, i had to uh, go by myself so i generally say i don't have a godfather i have come up i want what i want to do in life i have done it uh, uh, myself i have gone beyond when i went to the gulf also it was it was uh, uh, my own effort of course supported by my friends but then it was my own effort that i wanted to go to gulf there was no godfather to take me directly there and uh, put me into a job there also of course i got a good set of friends wherever i have gone uh, the best thing what i have done is i have uh, made good friends good friends who are there to support me in everything and uh, i have never uh, seen time or uh, what you call my my own uh, benefit in uh, anything i have gone beyond time there were days uh, when i was working i was doing service uh, in that place of work uh, wherever i was and then uh, there were days when i slept only for an hour or for, uh, for two hours but then everything what i had done it is satisfactory there is there is no regrets for what i have done I was recently elevated as the uh, executive director of uh, uh, Spirit Media Private Limited. Uh, it's a mother company which runs the news portals NewsKarnataka.com, which uh, recently completed uh, its tenth uh, year. We have News Canada for the Canada readers, uh, Karnataka Today, uh, monthly classic monthly uh, magazine, and uh, then we have uh, NKTV where we. Uh, telecast our uh, shows live and uh, the recorded shows and we are also into the uh, digital segment of live telecast and all these things uh, spirit media private limited uh, a company uh, as it began as news canada as i told 10 years back 10 years back i think i was sitting in the same very same office and that's the time when the founders of this company brought the idea of uh, uh, making news karnataka a, a preferred media uh, for kannadigas across the globe and uh, from that day it's 10 years down the line i'm been part of this uh, organization directly or indirectly in fact uh, initial uh, the uh, investment uh, uh, part also i was i was uh, uh, involved to get the uh, investors and uh, 
uh, being executive director of uh, uh, the company at a juncture when uh, the company, uh, the brand News Karnataka is reaching 10 years, I think it is uh, something uh, uh, exciting. Uh, we know 10 years how we have come up. It was not an easy, easy um, uh, way because uh, we never compromised on our ethics, we never compromised on the quality and uh, when we stick to our ethics and quality, it's, it's not an uh, easy job is it us to come up in this uh, 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 media world. So next 10 years are challenging, we know that and uh, we want to uh, make sure that uh, whatever we have done in the last 10 years, hard way what we have come up, we want to stick to our ethics, we want to stick to our uh, plans and we want to stick to our uh, quality and want to give the best of the best uh, uh, news in fact uh, we are known to give genuine news we don't like uh, like or we are not uh, interested in giving breaking news so uh, genuine quality news for people who are interested to know what is happening in real we are there to cater them for the next uh, 10 years and then the years to go My experience uh, more than executive director as a director is uh, more uh, uh, what I uh, enjoy. See, before COVID, uh, uh, it was like a life where uh, there were challenges every day. Uh, when you are into a director position, it's not a, a plate of uh, uh, what you call easy, easy, easy life. You, you need to uh, every day. You morning when you get up, there is a challenge ready for you. Till the COVID period. Uh, the challenges were many but uh, somehow with the support of uh, my co-directors with the support of uh, uh, stakeholders who have very much trust on us who, who have supported us, uh, us beyond the uh, limits and then we had a good set of uh, uh, people working with us so with all that we have um, managed to uh, get through all 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 that uh, challenges what we have come in the day to day operations of the company and uh, i think uh, for us for the for the media industry specifically uh, and for the digital media industry covid time was a uh, uh, blessing in disguise because uh, we were uh, for the for the uh, so many years peop uh, the digital media uh, segment was explaining to people come come with us experience what we are giving the best of the best but then uh, people were uh, not ready to uh, migrate but then all of a sudden the migration happened our readership grow uh, we had to do a lot of uh, upgradation in our technology and also uh, at the same time uh, we started getting the best uh, cooperation the best productivity from the manpower we had and then uh, uh, the new manpower what we had so in in all and all challenges were there uh, before COVID and challenges are there now also but then what has happened is as I told earlier every day is a new experience every uh, every challenge is a new experience so what we have done is over a period we are learning together and uh, uh, being being a, at this uh, position of executive director it's not uh, much has changed we are we are still uh, going together that's that's the beauty of this uh, organization Funny incidents, uh, there are many uh, because uh, I am a fun living uh, person, fun loving person, fun living person. So there are many but uh, uh, here in this organization what happens is uh, News Karnataka is a popular brand. So when people start searching anything, for example if they want to put uh, uh, CM Bombay's name or a Chief Minister of uh, Karnataka's name, they'll go to the Google and search. Automatically, our News Karnataka link pop, pops up there. They click on the link, they search till the end. Down, we have a contact number. And uh, for a long time, my contact number was there uh, for all uh, requirements. They they don't understand that's, that's News Karnataka's contact number. They think for who, which person they have searched for, it's their contact number. So they take the phone, directly ring up and start talking. So one day it happened, every day I get 10 to 15 calls on the different things thinking it is their number. But that also it happened like one lady called me, started continuously telling her problems, problem, problems. And 
I was just patiently listening. At the end of uh, everything, so many things she shared. At the end of everything, uh, I asked her, whom you are talking to? And she said, uh, I'm talking to the CM of Karnataka. I said, no, you're talking to a wrong person. So, this, this, this is what happens. Uh, generally, what people, because they are frustrated, they want to uh, communicate uh, something. Uh, they were just waiting who, who, whom they'll find. So, once they find a number, they straight away call the person and then uh, take out their frustration. So, these kind of incidents keep happening uh, every day in our field. Thank you.